Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda and in this video I'll give you the latest status of the stimulus negotiations and where things stand between the White House and between the Democrats, specifically between the White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, who's the lead negotiator on, the, on behalf of the White House and the lead House Democrat, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She essentially is the one who's essentially representing the Democrats in these negotiations and as far as Mark Meadows is concerned, in fact he said so, he said she is the key decision maker in these negotiations. And so here's where things stand right now. White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows was interviewed by Politico and I will provide you with a link to that interview in the description section below. So you definitely want to make sure you check that out. Here's a summary of that interview. The White House Chief of Staff said that his staff, his side, is seeking negotiations with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on these stimulus talks which are which are failed, which are stalled right now. He said that the White House would be looking into aid for airlines if Congress didn't act. In fact, I did another detailed video about this previously on our channel. So you definitely want to check out that video. So he specifically talked about White House Chief Staff Mark Meadows specifically talked about doing more executive actions as it pertains to aid for airlines because airlines are laying off tens of thousands of workers because that that deadline of the of the 30th of September which was stipulated as part of the CARES Act for the aid that the airlines were given, which by the way is taxpayer money, is, is coming to an end and so airlines are going to start laying off workers because the airline industry has been completely decimated. And he also said, and this was the key point, this I think was, uh, this is significant, he said the Speaker Pelosi is holding out till the end of the month for more stimulus talks. So. I did another video where I talked about the three possibilities in terms of the outcome for the stimulus negotiations. One of those possibilities was that a stimulus deal would be reached by the end of September because that's when they, the two sides, that's where essentially Congress, the House and the Senate and the administration have to come to a consensus to avoid a government shutdown because a government shutdown is inconceivable at this point in time in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of a severe economic recession weeks before an election. That is inconceivable. So now here's what White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said. He said there has been no contact with the Speaker or with Chuck Schumer in the last couple of weeks since the negotiations broke down. He said, and I quote, we haven't had a conversation with Pelosi Mnuchin, who's a US Treasury Secretary, who's the other, who's the other lead negotiator on behalf of the White House. He said Mnuchin tried to reach out to Speaker Pelosi and she said, if you cut it in half, there might be an opening to open up the negotiation. And he said that their response was if they are willing to for us to meet them in the middle or cut it in half, then uh, th that is something actually the White House Chief of Staff was interested in discussing because his original perception was, hey, are you willing to come down from your position, which is currently $2.4 trillion. But then the, uh, but then, uh, the, the office of the Speaker clarified that, no, 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 we're staying at the $2.4 trillion, which means we're coming down from $3.4 trillion to $1 trillion, And that's what we meant by cutting it in half. So he said that uh, Pelosi wants $2.3, $2.4 trillion without any guardrails or parameters. And he said that Pelosi said, give the money first and we'll decide how to spend it. We meaning the Democrats. Now, this is a key piece of information because this is not something that has emerged in all the discussions so far because we don't know what goes on behind closed doors when the White House and the Democrats are negotiating. In fact, uh, there have been reports that Speaker Pelosi specifically said she didn't want any cameras inside and she specifically asked Mark Meadows to leave his cell phone outside. This was reported earlier as well. To be completely honest, I think it would be good if there was an audio recording of this conversation because this affects millions of millions of my fellow Americans. So it would be nice to actually have an audio recording of what they were talking about because then I think we would get a much clearer, much truer picture of what's going on. But well, we don't have it. So this is what White House Chief of Staff said. He said, Pelosi said, give the money first and we'll decide how to spend it. That's not how negotiations work. These are the words of the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. Now, again, I will provide you with the link in the description section below to the actual interview so you can listen to the White House Chief of Staff yourself. And then he said, we reached out to her again yesterday to Speaker Pelosi, that is, since we haven't heard, out, uh, since we haven't heard anything from her. He said, I quote, I don't anticipate that we'll get a phone call. He said, we've had good conversation with Democrats, good conversations with Democrats on Capitol Hill, especially on the House side, because it seems like the White House Chief of Staff is trying to get Democrats to support his position so that House Democrats can start pressuring House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. This seems to be one of the 
negotiation strategies one of the gridlock breaking strategies on on the part of the administration to get through to speaker pelosi who by the way it's very clear that she's standing firm i've talked about this before one of the key aspects of influence and power is to stay firm with your position which is what speaker pelosi is doing it's also very clear that the administration is standing firm but i am starting to see signs of uh, flexibility from the administration and the need to want to reach out to speaker pelosi so it's very clear that this is becoming not just a uh, not just an economic uh, gridlock but this is becoming a political game and in many ways a psychological game of influence between the two sides because that's how that's how negotiations work but i you know i hate to even speak like this because we're talking about uh, this impacting millions of my fellow americans and again i'm just analyzing it here so um, you know don't blame the messenger so let's get back to it so this is what a uh, white house chief of staff mark meadows said he said I quote there is some common ground a lot of them are very reasonable with their requests he's talking about house democrats he said we have a call every morning with republican senators who want a deal this is what i meant when i said earlier that there seem to be some signs of flexibility there seem to be some signs of a willingness and eagerness i don't want to use the word desperation but i will use the word willingness and eagerness to do a deal on the on the republican side so that's very clear so he said we have a call every morning with republican senators who want a deal they are willing to make compromises this this my viewers and subscribers is headline news republicans are willing to make compromises and they want speaker pelosi to talk and speaker pelosi it seems is uh, staying firm with her position now whether you consider that an outstanding negotiation tactic that results in a weakening of the other side or whether you consider that somebody holding firm and holding up benefits for millions of people that's up to you to decide uh you know that's that's up to you but for me uh what's important to note is that speaker pelosi has indicated a willingness to do a deal okay what's important is speaker pelosi and mark meadows have not yet talked those are facts and what's also significant is that i quote republican senators are willing to make compromises the key is can they come together and can this be an open transparent discussion that results in help to those who need it the most that that's the bottom line that's the focus for me okay so he said they are willing to make compromises they want a deal the president wants a deal he also said a lot of democrats want a deal and are very reasonable with their request but i think and this is important i think pelosi will hold on to what she wants until the end of september i think pelosi will hold on to what she wants until the end of september where she will get what she wants in terms of funding the government i guess what is going on behind the scenes is now coming right out into the open as far as the thinking of the of the republicans as far as the thinking of the administration is concerned it seems like the consensus within the white house within the administration is that speaker pelosi is holding things out and dragging things out until she gets what she wants now again for me it's not about the red or the blue it's about the red white and blue so you can you can interpret this however you want but uh, the this is where the state of the negotiation stands right now and he said and again i quote it's really been speaker pelosi driving this train as the conductor more so than anybody and he said she said privately and publicly she wants a deal but when it comes to dealing with us we've seen no action um again uh, interesting points worth noting now let's get both sides of the story drew hamel who is the uh, deputy chief of staff for speaker pelosi he said democrats have compromised in these negotiations we offered to come down a trillion dollars if the white house would come up a trillion we welcome the white house back to the negotiating table but they must meet us halfway so again this is speaker pelosi standing firm saying hey we went down from 3.4 trillion which which by the way is the heroes act that the house passed in may down to 2.4 trillion the white house like no nope, we're at 1 trillion and i've done another video on this where i said the borrowing cost of 1 trillion dollars is right around 15 billion dollars a year when you consider the current interest rate which is 1.5% the borrowing cost of money so <clears throat> And that's where things stand right now and Drew Hamel he he went on to say that a Meadows aide had reached out to speaker Pelosi staff um via text to confirm that they had the correct number uh for Meadows in other words it looks like it looks like Meadows uh, aide reached out to uh, someone on the Pelosi side to say hey do you have the correct number for Meadows and then uh, Drew went on to say they didn't explicitly say that they wanted to restart talks they did not explicitly say in other words the administration did not say they wanted to restart talks and according to Drew Hamel Meadows has not called Pelosi so we see some conflicting information on both sides has Meadows called Pelosi not according to Drew Hamel uh have the two sides spoken that we can agree on neither of the two sides has talked to each other 
and it seems like uh, based on what Drew Hamill said, uh, Meadows is waiting for Pelosi to pick up the phone because in any negotiation, the side that initiates the contact seems more vulnerable, seems more eager, seems more desperate and gives up a little bit of power. This is negotiation 101. Um, if you ever read books on negotiation and influence, you'll see how that works. Now again, I know how this sounds from and I know what you're thinking, but I'm here to I'm here to not sugarcoat information and just give it to you straight so that you know where things stand without without a liberal influence or without a conservative influence. This is where things stand right now. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. I live the American dream. I have the fortune, the privilege, the honor of living the American dream. If you don't know anything about me, check out my introductory video on our channel. I have the privilege of living the American dream and I want to help you with your American dream. If you want to get information from us, get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000, that's 70000, so you can get instantly added to our SMS alerts list. You can also get emails from us and you can opt out of the SMSs or emails at any point in time. We release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And also, if you learn something new, please consider clicking like, please consider subscribing, please enable notifications so you get instant updates from us going forward. Our team works very hard to put together these updates for you on a regular basis. So I hope you can uh, you can help us out and just click the like button, subscribe, enable notifications so you get instant updates. That's all. That's all we ask of you. We work hard behind the scenes to bring you this information. I'm on the East Coast and uh, there's a hurricane expected on the East Coast sometime soon. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, I don't, uh, you know, I can continue making these awesome videos for you or these helpful videos for you, I should say. Hopefully they are helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video at Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.